Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanted to as briefly as possible cover the basics of sorcery in Conan Exiles. Now, the reason for this is simple. As you guys know, I have been running a private server in partnership with G-Portal, and many of the people who have chosen to play on it are part-time while they wait for the much-needed New World updates. And these people are either completely new to Conan or haven't played in some time. So I've been getting so many questions about how sorcery works, where do I unlock it, and all the stuff you would expect. So I wanted to make this brief guide to just cover the basics so that way everyone will be up to speed. So let's get into it. First I want to say this guide will contain spoilers, however I have time stamped them. So if you are the type of person who doesn't like spoilers, you can skip past the bits that are flagged. So let's begin. So your first step on your journey to become a great sorcerer should be to seek out the NPC sorcerers scattered around the world. They usually are alone or in pairs in various camps. I will share with you some of the exact spawn locations on these NPCs later in the guide. But one simple rule to keep in mind is that if there are human NPCs, then there are probably sorcerer NPCs in that camp. So your goal will be to find and eliminate the NPC sorcerers at these locations. Once you kill one, you will have a chance for them to drop a spell page, as well as a leather satchel. Then open the satchel in your inventory, and with luck you will get a map. Once you have received the map, you can then go to the location marked on it. This is a cave, which is guarded by a few only mildly dangerous creatures. And deep at the end of this cave, you will find an altar and a magic book. If you interact with this, you will then learn your first two spells directly. You will receive your own magic book, the Tome of Karnak, and a magic scepter. This unlocks the base sorcery skill for your character, but you will still have more work to do. So now, I will be spoiling something, so if you don't want to see this, please skip. This is the location of the cave and the altar I just described. You do not require the map to enter, it is simply a guide given by the game to find the location on your own. Now that you have been to the cave and you have unlocked sorcery, you can drag the wand into your slot on your quick bar and equip it. You start to cast simply by switching to this as your active weapon and hitting attack. You will have to know that all the spells are divided into different schools of magic. Once you start casting, a bunch of runes will appear in front of you for you to target. If you choose one of them, it will continue and a new selection of runes will appear in this category. This spell is only cast when the second rune is chosen. With more powerful spells that you will learn later, you will have to have a required level of corruption as well as higher tier satchels. Satchels are the regent required to cast various spells in Conan Exiles. These can be gathered by killing sorcerers or made quite cheaply in your alchemy bench. So always be sure while playing as a sorcerer to have a few of these on you when you head out. Anyways, while casting it will go something like this. First is your choice of magic school, which are time and space, life, death and undeath, summoning and controlling demons, nature and reality, and illusions. Then you will choose the category that you want. Then your next step will be to choose the spell and cast it, or you can choose a subcategory for stronger spells, then choose those and cast them. This all sounds more involved than it actually is. Once you get used to what the runes are and where, it takes less than 5 seconds to cast a spell. And while you're getting the hang of it, every rune does display on it clearly what it does, and what it requires. Now, you won't have anything too exciting to start. Ice Bridge and Uncover Corruption. Pretty boring, but soon enough you'll have some amazing powerful spells. When you went into the cave to unlock sorcery, you also unlock the Thaumaturge Table. This is your sorcery workbench. This is where you will place your Tome of Karnak and start to inscribe your new spells into and expand your power. To do this, you will need spell pages, which you can find as loot from NPC sorcerers or in their vicinity scattered around on the ground that you can interact with. If you thrall a sorcerer NPC and place it in this bench, you can even craft your own spell pages and not be bothered farming for them. For stronger magic, you also need other resources such as blood or souls, but even simple materials like rotten meat or stone can be needed. As you go through the process of learning these new spells, you will also learn some other cool abilities and structures you will need as a sorcerer. With these new skills called Words of Power, you will learn how to craft the Sacrificial Stone and the Circle of Power, and even a Teleporter. You can offer blood sacrifices to get souls and blood or summon beasts. In order to do this though, you will need Sacrificial Blood. The Sacrificial Stone works in much the same way as the Wheel of Pain. You knock out a Thrall, drag it back to your base and put it on the Sacrificial Stone. The tier of the Thrall doesn't matter here. Then of course you will want to either drain its blood as a sacrifice or drain its soul, depending on your needs. Once you have these souls and blood, you can then use your circle of power to summon all sorts of powerful things. Beasts to fight at your side, mounts, armor that is very powerful but temporary, weapons, whatever you need. The best function of this stone for me though, is retrieving your corpse. If you die in some place where it might be impossible to retrieve your body, you can use this stone to summon it to you, and then you can just retrieve your gear in your base. You will also learn a word of power that allows you to build a burial ground. How this works again is much like the Thrall Wheel. You can go and knock out an NPC and drag it to this mound. And then when you are in need, you can then summon them as zombies. The very cool thing here is they come very strong. They come pre-leveled to 20 and they eat spoiled meat. You can also have two of them following you by default. No need of placing points into authority. And as you can see, they are quite strong. 
Why I love these over thralls is the tier of the thrall makes no difference to the outcome of the zombie, so it's a nice fast way to get some powerful companions quickly. And finally, you can also learn the power word to create teleport shrines. You can place these around the world and power them with sacrificial blood and brimstone. Then you can quickly teleport between these locations, a very fast and effective way to get around the map very quickly. So as you can imagine, sorcery in Conan Exiles is now quite powerful probably one of the most powerful ways you can play. So of course, it comes at a price. For the weaker spells, you often only need different types of satchels. But for the more powerful spells, you will need to increase your own corruption. And using these spells will also place more corruption on you. And even if you shed your corruption through dancers or brews, you will need a certain level of corruption for stronger spells. For the newer players, you can recognize the corruption level you have by looking at your health and stamina bars. A purple area opens up in them, reducing your maximum stamina and hit points. So you become a weaker glass cannon, but at the same time a more powerful sorcerer. There are some tricks to bypass this in a way though. For example, you can carry brews that you will use to clear your corruption quickly. But how can you raise your corruption quickly to once again use the spells that you have cleansed yourself from using? Well, there are weapons you can craft that you will learn to craft completing the dungeon found here. These are the Blackheart Hammer and the Blackheart Sword. When you equip either of these and wield it, you will instantly be cursed with 40% corruption. This will then allow you to cast the powerful spells. Then once finished, sheath the weapon and drink the brew and cleanse yourself again. This is easy and very handy if you would like to play with the ability to be a sorcerer without becoming completely frail in the process. I will now quickly show some of the locations you can find sorcerer NPCs to get you started. Okay guys, well that just about covers sorcery. If you have any more questions, please feel free to post them in the comments or join the community discord. I also would like to once again invite you to play on our community server, a very social and friendly fun group on there. We are enjoying it quite a lot, and I will continue to host this server in partnership with G Portal even after Season 2 ends and Season 3 begins. If you don't wish to join our server and want to host your own, please use the creator code found in the description and you will save 10% when purchasing your server. Okay guys, well I do hope to see you in the exiled lands. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.